temptation has overtaken you, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, will provide the way of escape also, that you may be able to. Help! Somebody help! Bible man? No. It's Bible girl. Get it up. Soon we'll have you in vine. God will bind you. And he will cut us loose. Jesus said, if you are truly our disciples, you obey my teachings. And you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Good job. Very nice. I'll be right down. All right. That was an incredible audition, Leah. And that Dayglo paint under the black light looks amazing. So, has she got the job? <laughs> you bet, if she wants it. What I tell you, I can see the headlines now. Bible Man adds new star to stage show. Leah Martinez set to debut as Bible Girl. But we will need a firm commitment. The show opens in two weeks. Are you sure we can count on you? Let me think about it. What is there to think about? I mean, I just sent out a whole stack of resumes. It's what if something big comes up, like an audition on Broadway? Whatever. You're not gonna get another gig that fast. Leah, we haven't done a show together since dance class. It'd be like old times. Come on. Okay, I'll do it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Great. There's gonna be trouble in Randalltown tonight. Ludicrous, get out of my limelight. You've got this script all wrong. That girl works for me. That girl works for you. No way. Way. Not really. But she might. Presenting the real star of this show, Luxor Spondra. <laughs> Laugh, will ya? And by employing the latest techniques of spiritual germ warfare, soon I'll put a bug in Bible Man's head that will turn him into a raging infection of rebellion. It will spread like the plague. People everywhere will turn away from God, and then, as I always say, they'll be at my mercy. <laughs> this is the story of Miles Peterson. prices now though all right look look miss sturgis just all right just do the best you can thank you eunice input the ticket prices into the show budget and get me a revised script and i need those news releases on bible girl now there's only so many applications she can run at once <sighs> okay okay i'm sorry i guess i just got carried away all right sorry eunice no wonder you're overloaded Man, I've never seen you so grumpy. Yeah, well, I guess I am acting a bit like Moses. Moses was grumpy? No, no, um, you see, Moses bit off more than he could chew. 
he thought he could judge his people all by himself, but fortunately his father-in-law talked some sense into him and told him he'd better get some help before he burned himself out. Oh, yeah, you ought to do the same. I agree. Why don't you find a real live Bible girl? I'd love another female to relate to. And what's wrong with relating to me? That's a whole different pathway. Okay, you two, take it easy. If God wants to add to our team, he'll raise up the right person and then he'll confirm it in our hearts. Although that may be a little difficult. I've barely had time to pray lately. Careful, man. God tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 to pray continually. If you skimp on your time with God, your spiritual health will suffer. I know, I know. <laughs> Boss, when are we gonna move out of the sewer? when we get a bigger budget. Besides, it's my... Sewer Califuturistic Science Laboratory! Hey, isn't there a sonical something like that? Yeah, but we can't use it or the mouse will sue. Your spiritual health will suffer. I know, I know. It already has. What? You're no doctor! I am Lucy, the link to underhanded computer influences. Hey, I hacked into Bible Man's computer and found this, his spiritual health profile. Now that looks sick. <laughs> You're telling me. Prayer life, anemic, Bible study, seriously deficient. Food to the spirit, virtual prunes. Antibodies against spiritual attack? Dangerously low. And he hasn't been eating his broccoli either. It's just as I thought. Because Bible Man is so focused on the show, his spiritual resistance has been severely weakened. It's the perfect time to infect him. With what? Microbius disobedientus. The germ of disobedience. I don't see any germs. They're not visible to your naked eye. Are we allowed to say naked in a family show? It's just an expression. What I'm saying is that these germs are really teeny tiny. Aren't they too small to bug Bible Man? What they lack in size, they more than make up for in numbers. These microbes multiply like crazy in the proper host environment. I'll say. And those creepies crawl all over. They spread through their victim's whole spiritual system. They can cause widespread damage, even to the strongest heart for God. And Bible Man's never been more susceptible. All we have to do is capture him and inject him with the germ. <laughs> Hey, Cypher, thanks for dropping off these press releases and taking Leah's script to her house. It'll hey. give me some time to pray. No problem. She doesn't live that far. It right. won't be long. Okay. Lord Jesus, I thank you that I'm able to come before you and lift up all of my cares and my worries. I pray, Father, that you would just help with this show, that you would help me to get all of the things done that need to be done. Father, the props and, and the tickets and the lighting. Father, there's just so much that has to be done. Transmission alert. Transmission alert. Transmission alert. Transmission alert. Transmission alert. Transmission on screen, Eunice. Transmission on screen. Interrupted. We've lost it. Not if I can help it. 
It's time for Bible Man. Wait, take me with you. No, Eunice, you stay here. Keep working on the show. I can handle this. But you've had a power drain. You're exhausted. I just hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs>
that Bible Man's treatment has been a huge success. <laughs> Bible Man's Log, F S H H 337T. Bible Man is the victim of a plot to keep him from obeying God. An insidious villain has planted a ticking time bomb of rebellion in his brain. His friend Cypher suspects that Bible Man's spiritual health has been seriously compromised. He's conducting an extensive battery of tests to probe for the problem. Eunice, initialize spiritual resonance imaging. Initializing S-R-I. Okay, okay. That's enough. Let's call it a day. We have to be thorough. Cypher, I've already had a retinal scan, a brain scan, a bone scan, a complete blood panel, a complete body myoscopy, and the only thing you haven't analyzed is the cheese under my toenails. That's next. Would you kindly remove your shoes and socks? <sighs> Look, I feel fine. All I needed was a good night's sleep. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not so sure. My systems have detected some puzzling abnormalities. Test revealed the presence of unidentified free radicals in... I knew it. I knew that rebellious guy did something weird to you. I think you ought to cancel this afternoon's rehearsal. Cypher, I'm not going to cancel the rehearsals. The show is front page news. Besides, we're short on time already. Now look, I have to study my lines. Okay, you practice, and we'll keep checking this data. How rude. You know, Bible girl. O obeying God's word. O obeying God uh, brings us blessings. The Bible tells us he... The Bible tells us in Deuteronomy uh, 22.8 Something wrong? Uh, no. No, uh, um, my vision's a little blurry. I guess I just I need some new glasses. You just got new glasses. Look, you're not yourself. Let's just cancel the rehearsal. Look, I said I'm fine, okay? And I call the shots. Now just do as I say. Yes, sir. <laughs> How gloriously rebellious. <laughs> Looks like the infection is really taking hold. Yes, sir. Now to check on Bible Girl. <laughs> We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it with the red stuff. Get it with the microbians. Disobedient to... So it sounds like that Leah dude that's really slipping, boss. Sounds like those verses are gonna work. But they won't. Because we'll get to her first. With this. No, no, no. We don't gnaw on Pookie. We stroke him and pet him and love him. Okay? Okay. We're gonna send that girl Leah a phony invitation to try out for a Broadway play. <laughs> She'll think it's her big break. <laughs> She'll welch on her word to Bible man, and in his fevered state, he'll push him right over the edge. He'll fall off the world stage, and my show will open everywhere. <laughs> that is perniciously clever, boss. <laughs> so, what's your role? No, 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 no. In the script, you're supposed to say, what role do I play? What role do you play? No, no, no. It's in the script, it says, what role do I play? What role do you play? You play the mailman, okay? <laughs> I always get the bit parts. When am I going to get a bigger role? Like, you know, a nice Kaiser roll with some, some flowers. Look, look, look. You're free to expand the role, okay? Cool. You go deliver that to the Leah's house, okay? Be, be right there, boss. Oh, Ludacris, make sure the mail arrives on time. It'll be there, sir. You can count on me. But Miles... No, Cypher. For the last time, no, I am not skipping rehearsals. Now, ready the chamber. 
It's time for Bible Man. Eunice, execute full armor sequence. Executing full armor sequence. Unable to execute. Manual override. Manual override? Just do it. <sighs> okay. Waist belt of truth. Waist belt of. Sorry. What is going on? Miles, there's a problem. Yes, there is. You two will do anything to keep me from leaving. And you're being very disobedient. Now knock it off. We are not being disobedient. But maybe you are? Maybe you're not spiritually ready and it's, I don't know, corrupted the program. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm being a little harsh and, and, and I'm a little out of sorts. Will you forgive me? Of course. Of course. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Waist belt of truth. Waist belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. Shield of faith. Shield of faith. Shoes of peace. Shoes of peace. Of salvation. Full armor sequence complete. And the sword of the spirit. I'll take the tunnel bike. Don't bother to track me. Now that's what I call dressed and confessed. vital to our relationship with him. It, it says in Jeremiah 11.4, um, in Jeremiah 11.4, God says, um, in, in Jeremiah 11.4, God says, oh, obey me and do most of what I command you and I will and you will be my people and I will be your God excuse me um but that's not quite right God says obey me and do everything I command you it's right Look, here I know what the verse says okay I'm Bible man God would never say anything that rigid it must be some sort of typo or, or a mistake here's my Bible check it out Must I do everything for myself? Can I not count on anyone? Look, let's just forget it, call it a day. Well, I should say we should. There's no point in rehearsing with a script full of typos until you and Eunice fix it. What's wrong with him? I'm afraid he's ill. Bible man, 
Ben, can I ask you something? My friend Heather wants to copy my homework. I'm not sure I should let her. What does God say? Um, the, the Bible says that, that, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't right now. Hey. Don't feel bad. Bible man's just not feeling good today. But maybe you can ask Bible girl. <laughs> hey, look, I'm not really Bible girl. It's just an acting job. OK, all right, I'll try. My friend Heather asked to copy my homework. What does God say about stuff like that? God wants us to be honest, and I don't think that's very honest. Heather says everyone does it. The Bible says to do things God's way, not the world's way. Romans 12, 2 says do not conform any longer to this world. What if Heather won't be my friend anymore? Well, sometimes it's tough to obey God, but if we do, he'll bless us. Thanks, Bible girl. Good job. Well, hey, it's not bad for a stand-in. I gotta go. I gotta check my mail. What if I got a call back on my resume? See ya. Dear Madame, Magnificent credits. Invited to audition. Tryouts on the 10th in New York. Yours truly, Mr. Spondroff. I'll take the script with me. I can learn the lines while I'm in New York. You know, Bible Man, if you don't give me the couple of days that I need, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to quit. She can't do that. There's not enough time. Besides, she made a commitment. I can't believe she did that. Yeah, well, maybe Leah's got the right idea. You know, I'm... I'm sick of this show. I just... I want to be free of everything. You don't mean that. You're just feeling... I'm feeling trapped. I need to... Look, I just need to clear my head. I... I need to go for a walk. I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna clear my head. Oh, brother, feeling trapped. I'll tell you what. I'll help you. <laughs> well, uh, what I mean to say is, what I should say is, that Dr. Freeman, psycho babbler, would help you. <laughs> Where is Ludacris? Why isn't he back yet? Excuse me, my friend. You seem a bit troubled. Perhaps I could be of assistance. But aren't you... Don't I know you? I'm Dr. Freeman. Dr. Freeman. Dr. Dr. Freeman. Freeman. F-R-E-M-A-N. A couple of E's in there, but yeah. Would you like to tell me the problem? Yes, doctor, I would. I, I feel like I'm all twisted up in knots. Well, let me tell you a little secret, man. It's because you're squeezed into those silly, girly tights there. Tights? Yeah, you gotta break free, man. Ouch. Yeah, you gotta get a life, man. Get a wardrobe. But I... I, I can't. I... I've got a show to do. What kind of show? Is that one of them Circus of the Stars type things or something? No. No, it, it's a show uh, about obeying God. Well, no wonder you feel trapped, man. God expects far too much from us. You gotta cut loose, man. Do your own thing. Do my own thing. Mama always used to say, your life would be like a box of molded chocolates. Thanks, man. 
Look at this here chocolate. Would you eat this? No. I didn't think so. Look, man. If you want my advice, cancel this show. Cancel the show? Yeah. Tell people the truth. That obeying God just doesn't pay. You're right, Dr. Freeman. I'll cancel the show tonight. Remember, man, change that wardrobe. Say only yes if you mean yes, and say only no if you mean no. Matthew 5, 37. What if Heather won't be my friend anymore? Well, sometimes it's tough to obey God, but if we do, he'll bless us. Thanks, Bible girl. Thanks, Bible girl. is made up. The show is definitely canceled. This is terrible. Please reconsider. Get back to me. Bible man. You were right. No. He's right now. He can't do what God wants. No one can. Not by ourselves, but God is the one who gives us power. Philippians 2.13 says, for it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. I won't let you mix up my patient with all that Bible babble. I insist you leave. You are a very confused young lady. Joy. He wants what's best for us. That's why he wants us to go baby. His law is perfect. Yeah, perfectly awesome. Give me one more reason why anyone should keep it. His law is the lamp. The fight. It's right. Sounds pretty good. It's ludicrous. Ludicrous, get back here! The show's only half over, so I'm not through with you yet. Sorry I missed all the action. So I guess you really are on the team. You looked and acted just like a real Bible girl. Yes, she did. Now you better get me home. I'm not feeling too well. Can I help? I don't know. It's all right, Cypher. Let her come along. Eunice, deactivate Central Radonic Security System. System deactivated. Leah, this is Eunice, Universal Networking Intelligence Computing Entity. Wow, this place is really amazing. Hi, Leah. And Eunice is awesome. She's just showing off. No, she's not. She's expressing herself. Thanks, Leah. It's nice to meet someone who's on the same pathway. I still can't believe I fought a real spiritual villain. Yeah, it was him, all right. I just wish I could figure out what he did to me in that lab of his. I'm still scratching my head over it. It's really itchy. It's not surprising, given Eunice's latest findings. She's discovered you're having some sort of an allergic reaction, but she hasn't identified the allergen yet. Yeah, well, with the way I'm acting, you'd think I was allergic to scripture. Hey. You know, you might be onto something. Think about it. 
Your scripture memory's fuzzy, and your eyes blur reading verses. Yeah, but how would he do it? I, I learned about allergies in my biology class, and they get triggered by other things, like infections. You've just given me an idea. Eunice, remember those unidentified free radicals you found? See if you can link them to any infections. Searching databanks. Matching properties. Linkage found. The free radicals detected in Bible Man's brain are waste products of germs of disobedience. I was right! I was right! That rebellious guy must have hypergenomically biograbulated the microbiotic germs. And then infected you with them. Detestable. And really underhanded, too. And the sad part is, I deserve it. I let my own desires to put on a great show get in the way of my prayer and Bible study. But how did I get better? Well, it must have been the scripture that you memorized. God's word can be a pretty potent antidote. I'm really sorry I quit on you. I'd love to be back in the show. No audition is worth breaking my word and disobeying God's will. I'm glad to hear you say that, Leah. God will always raise up the right people to do his will. And then, he'll confirm it in our hearts. Leah, how would you like to be Bible Girl? For real? An excellent upgrade. I approve. I think it's a great idea. Me? Bible Girl? But I let you down. Well, I imagine that the apostles didn't feel worthy to write parts of the Bible either. But they obeyed God. And because they did, God did more with them than they could possibly imagine. And he will with you, too. If you obey him. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> I would love to be Bible Girl. If that's what God wants. I have a real peace about it. Me, too. Me, too. All right. So, how are we going to deal with this rebellious guy? I think we give him a dose of his own medicine. Eunice, send an email challenge to Luxor Spondroth at enemy.creep. Email sent. Executing full time sequence. Waist belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. Shield of Faith. Shoes of Peace. Helmet of Salvation. Full Armor Sequence complete. And the Sword of the Spirit. Now let's go get them, team. Bible girl upstaged me. It's all your fault, Ludicrous. You should have stuck to your bit part. You said I could expand on it. So I did. But then this little dog got in the act. You've got mail. Bible Man wants a showdown. God Squad versus the Underworld team. Randalltown Main Street in one hour. Tell him I accept. And it will be his last act. Can I be in this scene? I mean, okay, after all, he's expanded his cast. He's got Bible Girl now. And he might bring Eunice, too. You know, I'd love a crack at that self-righteous bucket of bolts. Go ahead, Lucy. Stretch your stuff. Will I ever? <laughs> 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 and now, the Unstoppable Underworld versus the Groveling God Squad, the Top That Rated Devils uh, versus the Bottomed Out Saints, Free Spirits versus Gods, Gippy Gophers. You can't say that. Why not? It's false advertising. It's PR. It's a wrap! <laughs> Crying out loud. Now what, Luxor? Everyone scatter! <laughs> <laughs> 
high places. I have no friends. you now. are useless, Cypher, for it is I who am your father. No. Yes. No. It's true. No. No! No! Why? <laughs> no! Find us because Jesus freed us and he is the greatest liberator of all time. That's right. It's the love of God that sets us free. Does not compute. Okay, what's love got to do with it? The Bible says in John 14, 15 that if you love God, you will obey his commands. Take that. Well, if you don't, he won't. In the face. And we obey God because we love him. Go ahead. Take your best shot, sweetie. Lucy, I'd watch that if I were you. Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. Again.
Ain't that just always the way? In the end, their own evil desires always come back to haunt them. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's right. Detecting emergency in other sector, B-12-3. Eunice, back us up. On my way. Bible Adventure Team, let's go. Hi, kids. Sometimes there are things that we really want to do, but to do them would mean to disobey someone in charge. But the Bible promises that if we obey God, He will make us more successful and happier than we could have possibly imagined. And to do that, we have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you would like to ask Jesus into your heart, then you should talk to your parents or your pastor. So long.